I'd like to go over uh, PRVC mode. Uh, one of the things that we kind of elected to do something just a little bit different than what most people do, and I wanted to explain that. So in PRVC mode, I'm going to set a volume. That's normal. You're going to set your target volume, your PEEP, and all your other settings. And I'll start ventilation. <clears throat> Um, one of the things that other people, other manufacturers decided to do is they'll do a high pressure limit and for whatever reason in PRVC, you know, normally on event when you set your high pressure limit, say to 35, you limit at 35. But what most people have done in PRVC, they've elected to limit the pressure to five below wherever the high pressure limit is set. So in other words, in this case, my high peak pressure limit is set at 35, so a lot of people will limit at 30. Um, what I'm gonna do, what we, oops, what we decided to do is that doesn't really make sense because Right now, I'm, it's taking me 26 centimeters of pressure to deliver my volumes. So if I ch set my alarm at say 30, what we do is we bring up this PRVC alarm pressure limit reached. Whenever we get within that, so I'm at 26, 28 centimeters, I'm between, I'm within five, but I actually let the breath happen. So at 28, see, I'm still letting that breath happen, but I'm alerting the user that, hey, I'm getting close to that limit. So rather than totally limit at 25 and not really know where I need to go, now I could probably say, okay, as it, caregiver, I can either make the decision to lower my volume so that my pressure is lower or maybe I decide to raise my peak pressure a little bit. So if I take it to 33, now 25 plus 5 is 30, so I'm not within 5, so you know I'm not going to get that PRVC alarm. If you ignore that P PRVC alarm, it actually, in the uh, the pressure persists, it will re-alarm at every 30 seconds. So again, we opted to give you that notification so that you can actually have a better feel for where the patient might need to be with their pressure. So that's kind of one of the things. And of course, as normal PRVC works, if the patient's lung conditions change and the volume starts delivering short, the vent will actually start to ramp up. Of course, now I'm getting my PRVC alarm because I had it tight. But you see the pressure rise to try to attain the, the, re the set volumes. And then if you, the condition changes, volumes are high, then the pressure will adjust low, you know, as, again, as PRVC is supposed to work. So that's PRVC. For more products and information, please visit our website at www.biomeddevices.com.